seventh place at the Olympic Games. She also won the Islamic Solidarity Games as well, so she's on form. Can we say something about that really quickly? How amazing having an Islamic Solidarity Games are. I mean, there's so many nations in the Middle East who, who fight each other, and really wrestling, bringing peace to the world through these games, through these Solidarity Games, that we're gonna fight together to be better. Yep, absolutely, no question, but who's better at the moment? It is Lazinskaya with the two-pointer. Well, from the Islamic Solidarity Games in Baku to the World Championships here. The Turk in trouble. Lazinskaya on top, looking for the leg lace, perhaps. Couldn't tie it up, though. The Turk escapes. Sa uh, Sahin took a, a forehead right to the mat. You could see her just wince in pain, obviously. Uh, opened her back up above the eye. And there's She's a lot of swelling above that. Yeah, she is indeed, Brian. Some pain, a lot of swelling above the eye. Hopefully, she's fit to continue. Oh, official doctor has a jacket on today. Yeah, he's looking good today. Yes. He's out in his finery. Is she going to be allowed to continue? Not sure. A lot of blood coming from it. Sahin, well, you know what she wants. Conversation between coach and athlete now. Can't really put cold spray there, can you? For sure not. That one would be a, a stinger. But all eyes on Sahin at the moment. Well, here comes the tail of the tape. She hadn't got her problems to seek before this. And the problem is not only is one eye closing slightly, she can see well enough and she can see that she's two points down here. Tough start for Turkey's Hafiz Sahin. And Lazinskaya, of course, will be keeping herself warm, keeping herself loose. She's having a little look there at the damage done, not by her. I had Lazinskaya in my picks today uh, going to the finals. I, I, uh, I didn't win the pool, uh, but I, she was my actual my actual pick here. She's a, a very technical wrestler and a superb athlete, and uh, really gets after it uh, with her hand fighting and with her head position. Obviously, with that head position, putting it into the eyebrow of Sahin is pretty pretty tough. Coming right back with a takedown, Sahin did a great job of of, of stalking and closing the gap on Lazinskaya and getting to position just to score right on the edge. Uh, so there was no counter at that point. Well, this one ebbing and flowing back and forward. Sahin, well, she was badly bruised, but she stood tall and gives herself criteria. She was the last to score, so she is in the lead. So her eye may be closing on her, but she's found herself an opening in this one. And then three steps in, slaps the hands. They're tied up again. And that mercy game again. I know we're not interlocking fingers, but they're, they're fighting those hands. And now, a first uh, attention on Lazinskaya for bending back the fingers. You can't go put any joint against itself. So nothing against the joint. And so attention, and we'll see how many times they say, last time I'm going to tell you. This is my last warning. OK, this is my last warning. <laughs> no, I mean this one. <laughs> A oh. big warning now for the Turk. She's taken oh, a sore one. Gosh. That looks like the knee. The knee has gone there. Now we talk about the injury, the pain. Now, unfortunately, well, this is a timely reminder of how tough this sport is. That's the knee ligaments gone for the Turkish wrestler. Lazinskaya was party to that. You can see her wincing, but the pain for Hafiz Sahin, who will be unable to continue. Here, and of course, one second here in this, in terms of coming in with injury. Let's hope that she is okay medically. She will not be okay to continue, Brian. And, and here's how you know it's tough. Here's how you know it's a tough injury. You can't look at it. You can't look at it, first of all. Second of all, when the offensive wrestler that hits the hold jumps off, she knew automatically it was bad. Yeah, Lazinskaya knew it was bad. Well, our thoughts, of course, with Afi Sahin, who will need a stretcher we would venture to leave this. That looks like a torn cruciate ligaments in the knee. And the Turk in considerable pain. She came in bruised and battered. 
And our thoughts are with her. Takes a lot of pain to be a champion. And it was such a beautiful headlock uh, by Lazanskaya. And she just caught the foot just in the wrong place. Oh, it's just it's makes my, my stomach turn. Yep, painful viewing. Lazanskaya, not the way she wanted to take the bronze. But to be fair to the Russian, more than deserved. She was 6-2 up on the scoreboard. And there will be that confirmation that she has the bronze. Quite why the referee's bringing her back over here to discuss this with the, her fallen victim.